option of running a secondary duelist on ISO. If you choose to forego the utility that a Gecko KO can provide, I can see a world where you drop one of those agents, but now we're on Lotus. Oh, and already we're going to see Juicy on that Neon. Beginity considering the ISO. I I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it straight up. Mm -hmm. The ISO changes? They're a bit too impressive. I thought it was good. I was, when I looked and I tried out the changes, I was like, wow, this is actually a lot more intuitive now. You're not looking to, you know, have another agent like Rina where you need to find that kill in order to get that reward. Because Rina's reward for getting, like, let's say a cheeky peek off and then you dismiss away you get, or you get a heal, that in it, getting away from the fight scot free in itself is the reward, but. During ISO's older iteration, where he had to get a kill to activate that shield, they just the shield just wasn't enough of a reward. But now, now to those who don't know, or if you aren't caught up with the patch notes, basically how ISO shield work now is that once you equip double tap, it plays a little bit of a wind up animation, and then you instantly get that shield up. And it still functions the same as before. If you get a kill, the orb spawns and you shoot it, you get another shield. But he only has one charge now. And similar to other duelists, what happens when you get two kills is that signature double tap ability recharges. So you have the potential to pop the double tap shield, get two kills, half the shield be broken, and then you can re-equip another shield and tank another instance of damage mm -hmm. and get out completely scot-free. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit crazy because you're pretty much rewarded before before your swing even in comparison to Reyna as you've mentioned for the comparison, right? It's oh, Reyna yeah. you do have to work for it, which makes it a bit more fair in that sense. Uh, with the ISO, uh you can send five grown men running away from a site just by hearing the shield activate. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you, did you see that Terra Extreme clip? Oh yeah, no, everyone, everyone has seen that clip. And that's exactly what I'm quoting. Because, you know, I've been put into that position and the moment we hear ISO shield, it's just, it's terrifying. Especially if you know the capacity of the player that's playing ISO. If that player is an extremely good one, then yeah, you know, it's a lot of fear. But yeah, if you're sharp with aim, luckily, sharp with movement and all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But luckily for for you know for the players here, they don't have that fear. One, two. There's also no ice on the server. But new neon is gonna be a little bit crazy, I believe. For okay. juicy getting those openings. One thing I want to talk about for neon is that okay, for those who aren't caught up with the patch notes again, the stun duration, the relay bolt. Instead of two charges, you get one. And however, the duration is greatly extended from what I recall. The fast lane now lasts for a shorter duration of time. That's going to be her double wall that comes up. But now, for her main ability, the speed boost has been increased basically on her strafe speed going side to side, which means those crazy TikTok Neon plays, yeah, they're going to be swinging wide, wider than ever now. And she's going to have two charges of that slide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I uh, I keep forgetting that's a thing. Yeah. Man. I can see I... you really working on maps that a Cypher isn't primarily chosen. But we are getting to the pistol round now. One thing to note is that DSG are choosing to run the chamber in place of the kill this time around. And Kimdi already getting the first pick onto his Juicy on that Neon. A little bit unfortunate there. Defense is here. They have to do play for this. Oh, Vera getting the pick over onto Impecurity as well. Oh, yeah, he gets a second as well. The Headhunter is showing work already. There is a little bit of a flank here coming in. One enemy remaining. Or rather, the entry. Styron Grumble going for it. Splash. Good headshot. Now he has to turn around, try and fight Wayne. He does good oh for God. it. Swapping weapons. Enemy There's remaining. the swing out. There's the third. One more to go, but it's oh. Vera. Shutting it down with the headhunter. Making it all the worth. Three bullets into the round. Three heads found. 
Good work for Splash to take out as many players as he did. He's looking sharp today. And again, we've talked about the more... The agents got the favorable end of the stick, right? But now, you'll see that we are playing Lotus without a single raise in play. Whoever... Okay. My condolences to the raise mains at home. I tried out the changes with the satchels and... Holy cow. It... It just doesn't feel the same as before, man. You might as well have just tied a brick to their legs as they're oh, satcheling, yeah. really. Honestly, it's it's so it's so rough. It's so rough to feel that kind of change. Movement, I think movement in terms of any video game, the moment that's hampered, the moment that's changed, it's instantly felt. And it's Definitely. gonna take so much more time for that to be reacquainted for the players. But speaking of movement, fast moves coming in from the attacking jet here. Crumble already finding one onto Applex. Vera doubles up into a Duka as well. Yes, you are locking this down so far very well. Mojo, yeah, just one kill back into Juicy, but fortunately, there's only one player left for this defense. Kennedy trying to find a bit more fights here. Spike isn't even down just yet. But lost into the site. Wayne and Siren are doubled up together, but he has a threat coming in from the left side. It's going to be Grumble. The miss swing here, it should be over, and it's done by Styron. Right, so that was a four spy coming out from inside of Nexca, but excellently caught from DSG. Nexca tried aggressing towards the link position to cut off any rotations, find some early duels there, but fortunately, DSG, they managed to catch that push perfectly and repel off the play that Nexca attempted. Looking at a different attack here, I think. Stretching out over for C. Outlaw, Outlaw and this time around. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, misses the stun. Oh. oh, misses the shots, unfortunately. And he lost his teammate out in the fight. Grumble left to dry over there. So now he has to play secondary position over to the back. The jet is up top on the boxes. He's looking for this fight. It's not there, but there's Vera with the Outlaw taking down Splash. Good hunt down. Applix takes out Vera. So now C site's completely wide and open. Three players left for DSG here to try Planted. and bring it back. There's a Vandal in the hands of one of the players here. Can't really see that just yet. Here we go. It's going to be Styron. He's hitting shots, so yeah. see if he can make it work. Wayne, coming in now. They've got a good setup for a retake here by gets a Sheriff's. This might look a little bit dangerous as Applix. He's going to find the first kill with Styron. Trades it back. Community gets another one to Rain and Styron. He's getting spammed. Run the smoke one now. He is going to be the last player left on his oh. team, but Aduka with the outlaw scavenged from the ground, puts him right into the dirt there. Yeah, and that's next goes round. Uh, they actually didn't pick up the. Uh, I don't. Did they pick up the vandal? I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't think they had the time for it, but we'll take a look. I ju I do want to say though. That round was very, very well played from Nesca. The stun coming out from the fault line from Mojo to allow his team to scale up against the chamber. And then Splash going in there, getting the first kill. Just doing Splash things, right? Really good way to open up an eco round like that. Let's we'll see if Vera can do Vera things. Miss shot again. Slicks are a little bit too short as of uh, the last two rounds, but... A lot of pressure coming in from the attacking side, so... Definitely, but look at how much space next guy I've gotten now, and that's already splashed onto the side. There's the updraft. He's on top of the box, but he's getting flashed out. He's blind completely. He has his teammates around the corner. There's oh, the first kill onto Mojo. Rumble comes in, takes out Splash. There's a second as well. Adaka goes down. Last two players in next guy here are a little bit trapped towards the backside here, so they have to fight their way out around the corner. If it's a slow peek, it's going to be a deadly one. Yeah, and he saw the little bit of the tail from that KJ on her belt enough to send her down. Applix, last one alive. Tries to TP away. Let's see if this is possible for him. Let's hit a plant on A. It's gonna be a 3v1 for next guy. They wait for a lit. Sorry, for the skies. They waited for a little bit outside the spawn in case it was a B <gasps> plant, but Applix oh, I just Applix. catch up on the timing here. He, considering a flank of the stairs, he hears all of this, by the way. Oh, he doesn't he go he for it. To isolate on these fight. Yeah, but like I said, he doesn't go for that timing. Might spell Doom here, though. Yeah, Don's already, already smoked off. Juicy's already on a spike. Oh! 
Unlucky. Unlucky, absolutely. DSG, good defense, good hold, and good idea to go with three. Don't give them that 1v1, don't give them anything. Really stop really them out spacing. of the kills. Yeah, really good spacing as well. Two on the, uh, what was it, two on the right, one on the left. Yeah. Good stuff. So, DSG, maintaining the lead. Next guy, still trying to fight for it back, but we should be looking into a little bit more guns now. Bro, Vera heard you, man. <laughs> Vera heard you, man! Uh, yeah. We'll see if Vera can continue. Yeah. He started off strong. Yeah, but this time around, Get look at this. It's gonna be com seaside completely open here. I think they're looking to go for a retake player oh, for DSG. Not QD here. already gave him kill to Wayne. Out towards rubble. It's the rest of the next guard. They're just waiting outside see right now. I don't even know if they have inf information that this site's completely open for them. That's the community. He's going to find another two. Catching off all the players on A's side here. And they're going to be through to see. Oh, shut down by Vera though. Good awareness to find out where he was pathing into. Oh, was that a one tap over? Not too sure, but Adika, good job. Shutting down Vera. Spike is now safe on the site and Grumble has to call it for now. Yeah, there's just not an option for this round, I think. They, might be, able to send, gonna... they might be able to send Splash to hunt here. They're just waiting. They're just waiting to see if Grumble actually tries for this, but evidently not. So they, if they're going to go hunt, they might as well do it now. If Honestly, not... looking at the economy, I highly doubt any of these players are going to hunt here. If it's if it's just one, it's just going to be slashing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he has the late storm and everything, but he does have a vandal on his body, so he'll choose to keep that into the next round. That's going to be second round here for Nexka. They are going to have that rolling thunder and the lockdown for the killjoy here. So we'll see what kind of round they opt to go for this time around, since. They have a real potential to just completely blow the doors off its hinges on single bomb side here. Seems like they're gonna start out towards C again, and some around Vera. It's going to be ready to take that game to more. Braving it out, going for the slow walk. There's the jump spot, there's the flash, but he doesn't TP back away this time. Holds his ground up top of the mound. Now he TPs away, but both of his teammates are now going to swing out for this option to try and take oh, back the fight. Him. Oh, but the, it misses. The Rolling Thunder doesn't catch him around the corner, but he still goes down anyway. Too many on the swing. And Vera, 42 HP, has to try and hold his corner. He has a teammate with him, but you should run. this might be looking a little bit rough here. Lockdown is going to come through. Next guy have all the time to try and bait out any sort of swing, play for more fights here. And there it is, there's Vera trying to go for an early one and he goes down for it. There's the Nightfall to try and find the last two players and they both backed away. Now all three of them coming out from the spawn, they're making use of the timing. Siren did want to splash, Impecutity and Aduka though, they find Siren and Wayne. Grumble just left alone, and Applix, yeah, takes it down. So, tied up, 3-3. Oh, I saw the vision there from Juicy, but unfortunately, the, the Rolling Thunder, while it missed him, it completely cut off any support that DSG would have had with their Star Duelist there with the ultimate in hand. But then it was, it got a little bit dicey. Got a little bit dicey, of course, towards, uh, towards the start of the execute, but next guy were able to close it out in the end. Tying it up three to three right now. Ooh, okay. I like this from Juicy. Oh, fortunately, I do not like that. Impecunity. Solid as ever to be the defense when they're attacking and splash. Oh. Yep, just finds that opening. Tries to find the other one as well, but spray goes a little bit wild. Grumble is left alone again, same position. Finds one shot into Aduka, but <laughs> gets tapped out by the breach util. Down and out. Impecunity is actually still on the other side. Might be going for the late B lurk here, and he might be able to find Styron, or it may swing the other way. Oh, he's holding this. He's oh, doing he's... that crouch hold again. Oh, oh Styron, you love to see it. Absolutely, Excellent sharp. 
Finds the gun. Is going to try to go for it. Try oh, a little bit more damage. Oh. Ooh, does a little bit more damage. This might be a little bit doable for Wayne. Oh, the swing was there. He did not have a teammate there. So if Wayne actually found that, there was a chance. There was a little bit of a chance, as wild as it was. But next guy, up four rounds, and they take the lead this time. Oh, yeah, a lot. Holy, this has been crazy first seven rounds. Both of these teams are going blow for blow here. Now, everybody's equalized across the economy. Full util for all. Vandals across the board here. We do have to acknowledge that the Viper's Pit will be in the back pocket for Grumble. We'll see how they opt to use it this time around as. The call is going to be for a C mount play for the side of DSG to post up Wayne on this angle near mount. Meanwhile, the rest of his team, they're supporting him from the main position. Oh, they heard two guns here. They know there's a lot of players around. There's the swing up from Splash and Applix as well, but Splash doubles up into the site, sees completely open. These guys have fallen into that aggressive fight. Star and Vera is left. They have to find some sort of damage control in return. Goes for the spam, but nothing is hit. The spike gonna go down again. Spike planted. Where are you? gonna be so hard oh good shot in the first one nearly on the second as well but now left in the 1v4 situation is vera he was hitting sharp shots in the pistol round but hasn't really found his mark yet gets stunned finds the first there's the oh. second he's giving himself a chance mojo's low hp here if he can find him this might be doable for the last fight and this goes up he oh finds the third vera this has to be it you're going for it. 33 HP left. Both players are low. He has to find the kill and he yo, found Vera. Yo. 1v4. Next guy is out of the round. Holy. Okay. Yeah, he's back, baby. From pistol down to fourth pistol. Uh, for door, down to the fourth rifle. 1v4. Hey, yeah, he heard you, man. He oh, he heard me. Heard you oh, you one. know what? If he hears me more, keep doing that. That's crazy. Tour de force yeah. is up for him as well. Time out. Yeah, calling the timeout. Just chill, guys. Just chill. That was crazy. Yeah, Let's just chill. Talk it out. Let's talk it out. I just want to say, Applix? Yo, that paranoia on towards Mount, that had like pasa malam value. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was like, that was like two for one type type thing. Absolutely. You got that, you got the two kills for that one paranoia. Lelong, Lelong, Lelong. Go, go, you know? Go. Yeah, go, go, go. Two for one, two for one. For Splash, two for one. <laughs> But yeah, that paranoia was so huge to allow Splash to swing in from the side and the rest of the team to collapse on towards that mount position. But now DSG, I wonder what they'll be talking about on that timeout there. Probably reflecting on how they will play out that C-mount position since that has been the space that Nexca has been contesting for the most proactively so far. We haven't seen too many plays towards Rubble at the beginning of the round. They've tried changing up their setup. They rotated the both the controllers on Wayne and Grubble as well as Juicy over leaving Vera and Styrock to take over a site. So I want to see if they... Okay, so they are swapping back to their original positions here. Okay. Hmm. Tour de Force be deployed by by Vera. Wayne's paranoia already being used to control that a rubble position. DSG, they have a very good position on the map right now. Ooh. Oh, the recon dart is just gonna be barely able to spot him out. Vera juking out the Hunter's Fury. The counter nightfall coming out here from Styron to put this push in their shoes for now, but See how they opt to respond to this. All the players, look at this. They're just holding this angle now. They're ready for the swing. They don't have much of an option. I mean, on the map, Impunity is still trying to hold out Juicy. And Wayne over there. So they're really left to this section of the map. There's the ult. It comes through. There's Splash. He gets one as well. But Vera, just before the blind comes through, he manages to tap out Splash. Otika finds the player lurking behind the site. There's the stun again. And Vera, he might be dead here. He's holding it. Yep, spammed out by Mojo. It's a player in the smoke in the form of Wayne. There's the Guardian. Make his presence known. Second is there. He tries to back away. Wayne, he's doing everything again. Oh, Dear Lord, man. we've seen him hold stuff. But that's a little bit crazy. 25 seconds. And he might have just saved the round. 23 HP. Juicy's still full up. 
Impecunity is left for the clutch, but we've seen Impecunity clutch like this before. Bro, I need someone to hold me. Like how Wayne held the seaside from FCT position, man. Left. <laughs> yeah, no. that was straight out of a frag movie, you know? Absolutely. Oh, there's the oh, flick no. backwards, but there's no time. Juicy just has to run. He finds the kill anyways. ESG back to five, but Wayne, oh Wayne, absolute oh, savior with the Guardian. How does he get the the second? He, he panics a bit on the trigger. first, yeah. right? And he moves away. The, the shot goes wild, but it just lands in the face of Applex there. Hey man, when life gives you lemons, <laughs> you just make lemonade, you know? Yeah, just yeah. make lemonade indeed. In this case though, they're making uh, whatever toast breakfast they want. Look at this, they love the sea fight. Oh, getting a dink across the wall, but taking away with 30 HP. HP trade so far. For both of these teams. Grumble is going to deploy the Vipers pit to persuade them to move away from the seaside. Meanwhile, the rest of this map now, it's going to be completely dark here for Nexca. Wayne and Jersey, look at them. They're controlling towards that rubble position. It's going to be a lot of utility being used here just to push this true alone. But oh, I think Wayne might have missed that. Only smoke there. This is going to give a little bit of pressure back to them. Oh, that's smoke. That's a very favorable smoke for you to swing out of if you're on the side of Nexca. Seems to me like B is going to be their bomb side of choice here, though. Lockdown could be deployed by Impecunity. Just waiting for a reaction at the moment. Nexca recognizing that they do not have to give anything just yet. 30 seconds left. Here comes all the util as well into Link to try and catch out someone early, but at yeah, DSG, they do have to give ground back up a little bit. Now, Aruka is actually left here, 30 HP, so if he can time this just right, he might have the window for it, and he oh, might have man. heard the sound, he might have heard Juicy reposition. He's looking the wrong way. Aruka, you have oh. the biggest flank here. Wayne's already oh, making my... space into the team, so he's trying to find this window again. Oh, it's my Juicy, God. it's found. There's the oh. second. This pen goes through. DSG have fallen. All three of them are in Link, and they're done. Grumble and Vera now coming in from the other side, but it's Splash. He's the danger here. Grumble's left all alone, and it's done. It's out. It's back to back for both of these teams, man. Five to five. Aduka with a massive flank. Three members of DSU were in link, but that was a walk in the park for him. What a play to tie it back up to a five to five here as we head into the, the last two rounds for Nexco's attack. Talk, talk. Man, oh man, this is honestly, this is how I expected this map to go just back to back. We knew Nexco would pick or have Lotus as one of their picks, and this guy is they're strong on this map too. They figured out a lot of strats for a lot of teams here, so this this is expected for them to go back and forth. But this close, it's it's crappy. Middle swing, yeah. Oh, I think you are in oh. huge trouble right now. Yeah, he is, he got crunched down. After so long, they finally managed to knock down that wall. And Picardy has been holding that round after round after round. But they finally find their way through. On an eco, no less. But, you know, you gotta go for the crazy plays. Yeah, next guy are going to get the spike down, though. And the onus will be on DSG to retake this with their sheriffs here. And you will Vandal by here from Juicy. Oh, wait, no, he picked that up from Picardy. Yeah. Wayne is through. So is Juicy. So is Vera. But Vera goes down. Saw his head through the smoke there. It was Mojo. He's 19 HP. If Wayne can find oh. it, there it is. Now it's looking a little bit more scrappy. There's a swing onto Juicy oh, as well. Juicy. He might find both of these players. Aruka's in the back side here. Oh my the shock dart. It's close range. It's a sonar actually. He's out of bullets. But Grumble covers his back. Aduka doubles up. Make that four. What a hold from Aduka. Getting the four kills there to save that. And for his team, but. Very good eco from the side of DSG. It's a survival oh. sequence for that man. He was trapped in the corners. Shot. He said this. I think the sonar hit Juicy flat on in the face. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that too. <laughs> it was just blinking, blaring red. But now next guy are going to call a timeout for their first time. Caution. Here. Are they going to call? All right. You know what? Maybe this time we don't start. See mount. Maybe we try a different part of mount this time around.
I wonder what Nexus, Nexus read here is on the C bomb side, because do you recall a single round where they started out not on C mount? No, I don't. I actually don't. They've they've gone for C mount so many times. The there was maybe a time where they pushed a little bit out into A, but they backed away instantly. The presence from from Wayne and Juicy being there, either either they've done their homework and they knew they were going to be there. Of course, there's a new new patch and everything, but. Yeah. The the mindfulness to know that players are gonna hold that depending on how you scrim, especially if that if that's uh, a thing they've been doing. Yeah, but this? you know what what's the Sorry. bizarre part about this? Hmm. They're choosing the site with the chamber, who's potentially gonna be holding that C main area with an operator like like how it is online right now. That could have been any of the previous rounds here. That is the map that that is the site they're choosing. Might this be like just an avoid juicy situation? You think? That's crazy, but well, Vera's the one they're gonna. Yeah, Vera's the one they're gonna have to avoid. There's Autica with the Hunter's Fury, splash with the entry as well. Defines the timing. This is really good for Nexa. They found their opening. Way and Juicy Starn are left now. They're gonna have to regroup. Watch out for any alerts coming through, but luckily there are none for this round. Next, they're looking to try and shut this out on the site. Maybe into Mound as well. Presence known, at least from Waterfall. They knew where that Prowler came from. Ooh, the tag and the capture is there. And he finds it as well. Styron and Wayne find their kills. So now two on three. It's flipped away all the other way. Oh. And Juicy slides out, finds Impecunity. One on two. Aduka is trapped out here on Mound. And Styron sneaks out the smoke and finds him. So it's six to six to end it on this half. We saw the full effects of the movement sliding accuracy. Oh yeah. By the way, from Juicy. Oh, yeah. oh man. He's playing a he's playing a different game, different character, you know. <laughs> Can you see the potential where it's just like a like a dual like a like a neon just slides on towards side, spraying two people down, and then slides another direction, gets the spray reset off, and then one taps the person. Yeah, I mean, because like, uh, we've had this discussion, right? Yeah. It, it's it's every time you're going to run Neon, you want to run the Phantom because the spray isn't as intensive as the Vandal. But with the new patch, because she's so accurate on the slide now, just go with the Vandal. Plus the Vandal one-shot headshots at any range, you're just so much more deadly. Even if it is a lucky bullet, it's, it's just crazy impact. But speaking of impact, here's Juicy trying to take the first fight onto Splash here. A fight for... A bit of control for Rumble. Uh, yeah, Rubble. Uh, Rubble's gone for now. So now, next set, they have to back off. The door is now open, though. So that presents another avenue that DSG's push can be threatened from. They're going to deploy the poison orb to cover it off for now. Meanwhile, the rest of the next cut, they are going to be rotating in towards the A bomb site. Look at this, Vera. He's already going all the way through C main here. I think he spots out the turret just barely since Pecunity. He is still towards a waterfall position. Poison Orb goes up again. He has to read here. Grumble spotting one player. It's juicy. He's entering through three at the moment. Luca finds him and gets a second one as well. Oh my god, the fight is so scrappy, Aduka. He has so many angles to watch for when that door is open like that. Bit of delay coming in, but Grumble just says no. He swings out, takes out Mojo, but he leaves it into the hands of Styron for now. Vera finds Impecunity as well up top onto Heaven. Here's the fight, here's the swing, but Vera, he closes it down. So DSG, they take the pistol. Teleport's ready. What an insanely scrappy pistol round. Oh yeah. It was... It was so scrappy because like... That was barely a lot of uh, double swings, yeah? It was a lot of singular swings from one player just to try and take a little bit more space. Yeah. It's a lot of individual duels and in the end, DSG, they will be the ones prevailing here, bringing it home. And it's going to be an eco round here now for Nexka. Oh, stun is dead on. So it's kind of trapped there is Splash, but... Sonar taken down, no info gathered. Splash having to reposition as well back into sight. Doesn't want to stay 
in that death zone area, Aruka going for some very risky shots through the smoke. So only light damage done onto Juicy. And looks like they're holding for now. Yeah. DSG are not trying to push the issue here. They recognize the potential for ASI to be stacked here. Vera, again, on that Simon position, is going to give the space for his team to rotate through. Prowler's going to be sent out towards B main by Styron. The oh. community, he peeks out, and it's going to be a nasty surprise from Wayne on the other side of that. Maybe they were hoping that was a lurk. Apparently, it was oh, good. Yeah. If they had better weapons, there might have been a deadly, deadly chance for Nexa to try and take space back and mount, but the entirety of the oh, team no, swung Vera. back around. But oh no, Aruka, he's found his way in. Yes, G, they're holding it. They're holding it for now, and it's all good. It's all good. Vera just had a little bit of a missed time with the reload out in the open, but hey, it happens to all of us. That was so scary. It's like your team's taking out the whole side, and you're like, all right. Time to swap into a fresh mag here. And then you just see three players FNAF jump scaring you, classics in hand. Aruka doesn't even sense it, bro. Aruka, at this point, I, I like to believe in my head he's so seasoned that he hears you unclipping <laughs> the mag scene. <laughs> he swings you. And that could definitely be it, too. It's so subconscious for these players now that when it comes to sound cues, it's just, they probably just instantly react to it, you know? Yeah, maybe. Just like a react. Though. Wait, wait. Speaking of react, oh, look at his reaction. Next go. Oh my god. Attacking force is immense, and DSG they crumble instantly. There was there was a chance to try and take the A fight, but the paranoia was so good. Splash just went for it, and spam through the smoke were even deadlier. So now, yeah, done and out. Next go. A blitz to the round. A bit of revenge in terms of timing. Splash is just on one today, isn't he? Oh yeah. If we're looking at if we're looking at sharpshooters for today for this matchup, we're looking at Splash. We're looking at Vera going head to head. If we're looking at a bit more of the veterans fighting it out in terms of how they deal with combat scenarios in the middle of a duel, we're looking at Aruka. We're looking at Juicy. We have a lot of dynamics between both of these teams. Yeah, and Splash again, one of the rookie duelists. On the MY SG scene coming into this split, looking oh to make my. his name known. Oh, and oh my. my god, we will not be forgetting your name with memorable plays like this. Just absolutely stir fries DSG. Stir -fry just trying indeed. to shuffle out that A main position. Now, they are going to be oh looking to god, rotate. Splash just catches that rumble there for free. And look, Mojo's already here. Yeah. The timing's good. He could get one. Ping down onto the floor, maybe trying to take out the uh, the alarm bot, but Ambiguity actually is still over into C, so you don't have to worry about that yet, but what they do have to worry is the crossfire. Up now. So they have a way to clear this out, even though they don't have the Prowlers from Styron. Um, it's going to go out, it's going to get broken there. There's crossfire. Present a deadly challenge here. Vera takes one, gets traded out though, but Styron ends up killing that McUnity. Doors can be open, but Applix now has the right to the challenge. Styron making his way onto the bomb side. Meanwhile, Applix just backing off, giving him space, allowing his teammates some time to rotate, then splash, pinching on him through the door angle. Styron for a challenge here. They're just not giving him anything. This is actually a good position. This is a good position for Styron. His his back is to the wall, but he can isolate all of these duels. There's the first one. Second one doesn't come through. It's Splash with the 4K. He was massively aggressive on the A side. Wraps it up here on the C side. What a good setup for Adukavator. He shot that dart while I think it was who was the one who swung? And I think he swung out to allow his teammates space to catch a kill there. Next got tied up 8 to 8, and it's going to be a timeout for DSG this time around. They had a blistering start on their pistol round, but unfortunately, things are falling a little bit flat right now as the narrative is back on the block. We are tied up 8 to 8.
Hey, if you're Chinese, this is your sign to... Uh, I don't know, actually. Eight is seen as like a auspicious number mm -hmm. in Chinese culture for some reason, but I never really knew why. Now that I come to think of it. I've never really asked my dad. Someone find out for us. <laughs> Some, <laughs> someone find out for us. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. So timeout called for DSG. Here, they want to try and stop whatever momentum Nexca are building for their defense, and they need to find a window. They've hit a site, or they've tried mm -hmm. instantly stop before they could even get there. So Nexca are getting a little bit more proactive on their defense now. More proactive than DSG, I'd say. Because Juicy yeah. and Juicy and Wayne, whenever they play up onto that rubble position, they would hold. There. They would hold and they would wait. They would wait for maybe Impecuity to try and swing out and lurk out and find timing, but Impecuity just held. Hence why we practically just used half the map for when the sides were swapped last time. Honestly. Ooh, look at this pacing. They were expecting a brawl. It's not going to be there. It's going to be on the site. Impecunity is here with his teammate. It's Aplex. Oh, but there's the Hunter's Fury. It cuts across the map to try and find one, but... Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it doesn't find anyone. Here's Splash on the flank. He gets taken down, though. Only manages to find one. It is juicy, though, so we'll see how that goes for the team now on the attacking front. Oh, but the lurk. Oh, no, Vera. Vera. Triggers a bit too soon, and he has to swap out to his Classic 2 out of bullets on the Headhunter. Styron fakes out on the door, but... Shot Strike down, down by Aplex. Mojo is on the really? flank now. Taken down by Impecunity though to do that double kill. Nexca in the lead. What an adjustment by Nexca, recognizing the economic disadvantage there. Well, he thinks himself DSG are gonna go for an eco here, so let's just hold back on site and wait to catch the push. We don't have to do anything too crazy this time around. And they are going to be rewarded with the lead for that. Splash! Now online with the Operator 20 and 12. What a scoreline from him. Farah's not far off. He's on 18, so... That's going to be the head-to-head -head in terms of aimers, but... Yeah, Splash finds Juicy, there we go. Wayne does get a returning kill into the smoke, onto Otika, so... The big threat of having the sonar hung over is gone. I think it's going to come through here, though. There's still left on smoke at the moment, as Splash is still going to be the angle with the operator, as Spike is going to get planted for safe. Viper Spit being deployed here from the side of DSG. Oh my god. The map up to their retake here. Wayne gets one towards Mojo, but Splash with the operator shuts him right down. Now, the rest of DSG, they are going to have to be playing really smart inside this Viper's Pit now. They are to the V3 position. Flash jumps in, tries to take space, but Styron takes him out there. Applix gets the paranoia off as the rest of DSG shut this whole round down from Nexca. Pushes off the retake systematically. Like, yeah, that was, that was really clean. That was really, really clean. In, ter in terms of the fights, yeah, Wayne Wayne was just trying to get a little bit more space for for his team. It does work out, but yeah, eventually, and going into that virus pit, it, it's just, it's death. It's, it's very hard. Yeah. And splash going down like that, not too much in terms of uh, spacing to get into that back area. So... Second timeout called for Nexia, and this is going to be all the timeouts, I believe, used up for both teams. I believe what do you think so. They're talking We're about? only 18 rounds in. What they... Yeah, what, what do you think they're talking about? I think what they're talking about is how they approach that retake, because I think they could have definitely went a bit faster there. I think there might have been some clashing comms on how they wanted to approach that retake, because... Splash, he dived in, but unfortunately, there was no one able to trade him, really. Since he saw Applex, he was like right on the side. He's probably waiting to like tap the spike or something like that. Yeah, you're Shorty out, Shorty out trying to dash in. I mean, it's it's an egregious yeah. play, but if, the, <laughs> if there's anyone that can do it, it's probably Splash. 
Oh yeah, it definitely is. One of the sharper rookies coming in this split. Okay, a lot of footsteps being made. Doesn't even bother with the turret. Picurity has to try and hold this. Sees all the util. There's Juicy with the alt coming through. It's a good slide, but shut down, unfortunately. Nexca are holding this a little bit better right now. DSG are filling into the site, so they have to be a little bit more careful for this. Spike is going to be planted towards the stairwell instead of mound, so they're going to give up that spacing. They're going to fight deeper for it, actually. So, Rumble, good kill onto Attica, and Styron finds Applix as well. Now looking ever so dire for Nexo to try and take this back. Splash out, goes through, space is taken, Splash looking into the main area, trying to find a head. Finds a head, but it's only a tap through the smoke, but Wayne, he finds two instead. I just want to highlight a play from Crumble that round. He put up the Poison Orb to stop any aggression potentially coming out of Waterfall. And he took that dry fight on towards CT. And what this allowed him is basically their team did not have to worry about CT and DSG could turn all their attention towards holding that Waterfall push. It's times that you have that man advantage or you're even in numbers and you want to try to find an advantage in team that really sets these star players out apart and grumble showing why he has a spot on this roster right now oh my god splash was still stunned and he just goes for it grumble he doubles up trying to find this fight into mojo here they know he's here tries to trap him out oh, a little bit of a gap Goes for the wall bang. Nothing is there. Oh, he's heard reloading if he gets chased down here. No, gonna let him go for now. They don't have to give away any sort of advantage to them. Yes, you just need to lock in this 11th round. It's all good for them. There's the swing. There's the kill. So Grumble on three. Impecunity last alive. Has a rifle in his hands. Might be all thing to save here if you can't find at least one kill to try and get away with. Styron? Not as Styron has anything to say about it. Oh. Wayne, he's trying to get a piece too. Oh, there's one. Oh, but there's Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> the little the little dance of competition, I would say, is the uh is the teabag, isn't it? So, eleven to nine. Finally there's a little bit of spacing in terms of rounds. Not so back to back, not so back and forth this time. Vera's gonna be on the op. We're gonna see what he can do. Attacking op too, actually. Yeah, and this spells to me that these guys are looking to go for a bit of a slower default now for to allow some time for this operator here in the hands of Vera to try to find a pick on the other side of the map. Forcing out a reaction. But as I say that, look at this on towards C Mount Grumble fighting one with Adga amidst all this chaos. Wayne as well. But Mojo trades it back on towards Juicy. Finds another one onto Wayne somehow. Still in the smoke. Chrissy Crossy, Apple Saucy as Grumble is going to pick up another kill. When all the dust settles, DSG are up on the man vantage. Meanwhile, the rest of the remaining members yeah. are uh, from Nexka are going to be rotating towards the seaside. Should be that this is going to be a feint though from DSG. Yeah, it should be good here. If Vera pushes up into A and finds out that it's completely empty, it should be fine. But that's that's a really hard task for him at the moment. He has an op. There's no way you're going to try and entry this with the. Op. I mean, unless you're Shinsei, of course. You you lurk all the way around the site. But <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna have to see if he steals that playbook or not. Calls the team Things over. Coming out. Yeah, calls the team over. So. I think enough time was spent over on Mound. And enough presence left. fought for. Okay, now choice. here's the next big question, right, Vlad? Hmm. If you are Applix and Impecuni D right now, do you make the call to go for this retake? Or to save? <sighs> so you're That's staring rough. down the barrel of match point. That's rough. It's, uh, I think it's a save. It, uh, I, I, I don't know. I would personally save. That's just me. I would like to have guns for my team into the next round, but at the same time, it it's so down to the wire, right? Oh, you give DSG, right. yeah, you give DSG this map point. It's it's gonna be rough because I believe there is a little bit of info that they know Grumble is low, so if they can find this one kill, they can equalize it. But Vera, 
Let's see if he's up for it. Oh, missed shot onto the top hat of the KJ. Now they're going to try and lock him in. He's trying to fight for this corner. And Picurity finds the timing, finds the second. No way, Nexga. They're holding it. They're holding wait, it. Do they wait, have the wait, time? Wait, There's wait. no way. Oh my god. Oh, never what? mind. Never mind. You know what? Never mind. It's okay. I said save. Wrong call. My bad. I'm not. You see, this is why I'm not in Picurity and I'm not Applex. <laughs> How did oh they do God. that? They oh just... God. They robbed the round. Okay, no. They knew one had to be low. And that was Grumble. He was 30 HP. So if anything, that's the gamble they try and take. And if anything, it's desperation to try and close this fight. But the fact that they drop down, they find Vera. Okay, he's trapped there. Fair fight. But Impecunity finds the second on the swing. Gotta go. They are just clean with your... Face your fear! Now DSG deploy the Nightfall early already. Rolling Thunder is going to come out as a reply knock and you'll get an answer as Splash swings out, picks up Styron to open up the round. Let's go. They're trying to be really explosive here, but DSG trying to, ans trying to answer back here. Drone is out, sees all the info, Arka holds the crossfire, so they have to be a little bit more wary if they're going to try and entry this. Oh, this is so deadly. Gun barrel spotted. There goes Grumble. Second swing, but Juicy finds it. Aruka with the return back and win. Manages to find that kill. Going into sight now, but left in the 1v2. He has to try and find match point for his team. Bring that gap away from Nexka, but... Well, Nexka, for some reason, they've... They found their last-minute answers. Yeah, it's going to be a 2v1 situation. Have some time to... There are these off angles here. Lockdown is going to be deployed from impecunity. Wayne, where will he reposition now? Mm. Oh, the teleport. That's checked. It's going to be good. Yeah, it's checked. Oh, but does he have time? Oh, what's another death? Oh, he doesn't have time. No. Not like this. No way. That's how you win the... Okay, this is... Okay, those last two rounds have been ridiculous, man. That's how you win the round out of time. They were so scared to push in into Wayne. And Wayne just, just held it. Just held it there. TP's away into the one spot where they just have to look. Because if you look and on you the minimap... And you know what made it even more disastrous of a round? Impecunity and Applex, I believe, hovered around the A... Between the A and B sites, just in case Wayne would try for a play with his ultimate, right? But he didn't. He sticks the plant on towards C, so they have to take that long rotation. Oh gosh, okay. Well, final round for DSG here, possibly. Or it's just oh, going to be Nexga trying to take the fight into overtime. We'll have to see. So far, two shut down onto the return. It's just sheriffs for next guy here. So anything they're going to try, it's going to be very desperate. The fact that there's a fight here when we've never seen it happen at all this entire map speaks wonders. But there's Gr there's Grumble, there's Vera. They lock in those last two kills. Aruka, the veteran, he's the last one alive. What can you do? Yeah, I'm not really favoring his odds right now. Sheriff and Dan trying to make a hero play, but unfortunately, stares into the crosshairs of Vera there from DSG, and that's going to be DSG map one on Lotus. Yeah, absolutely. So, just for a reminder for everyone, Lotus was Nexga's map pick. We're going to be moving into Icebox later. It's going to be DSG's map pick. So, interesting game. Overall, very, very close. It's what we expected for both of these teams, right? In this region. Oh, yeah. Both of these teams are so fundamentally just, just competitive and so, so down to do their homework for, for their teams. They know what to do. They know how to handle certain situations. You see the clutch rounds, clutches, back-to-back, 1v-axis. Uh, it's just, it's nuts. The massive hero plays. Cajones, I tell you. What? <laughs> Massive colonies, <laughs> indeed. So, looking into the post-match stats here, we got quite the conversion for the side of DSG. Look at the first kills, though. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm going to call it here before we get onto the stats. That might be a splash moment. That had to be a splash. That had to be mostly splash. 
he was the only one taking out those fights. When they swapped sides and they tried to stop DSG from pushing, the amount of times Splash would just dash in into, into the rubble position, either on the left, either on the right, either on top even, he'd just take a fight. The input is so fast. The input is so fast from dash to first kill. Milliseconds. And yeah. it's just Splash. It's the rookie. How old is it's... how old is he again? He's 16, right? Look at him. Eight first bloods, 25 and 18. What a monster of performance, but Grumble. The MVP of his team, but Vera, so close band as well. That showcase. And with his chamber, he definitely heard you, man. I just want to say. You know, good. I will take I'll take full full responsibility for that. If Vera can you hear me more, keep hitting those shots, son. <laughs> keep yeah, keep again, hitting those. The impact from the rest of these players on DSG. Juicy unfortunately didn't see a lot of noise towards his side. So it was completely understandable. And on that attack, despite his stats, he just made such huge plays to make the side open for his team. And Wayne, he is going to be our MVP on this game. 242 ACS, 1.6 KDA, with a match as close as this. Yeah, you can definitely find yourself being the standout player here. For sure. The uh, the Guardian, we have to talk about that Guardian. He, he, I still cannot believe, he pushed through that smoke and he got three. It was such a scrappy fight, but he brought his team the round with that Guardian play. If anything, just so much damage at this guy. This guy is so sharp. I mean, we've seen his capability. We've seen his capability to be a very, very sharp player, right? The first mm -hmm. time, yeah, you know, as disastrous and as memey as we talk about that Icebox game that happened. But what do you mean? He, what Icebox game? What? No, you have to point out Wayne. He was playing <laughs> Reyna. He was playing oh, Reyna. Yeah. And he brought Reyna. it all the way to overtime.